For many of us, the most we think about poultry is during the weekend supermarket shop. But for one of the region's locals, these birds are a life calling. Bede Carmody dedicates much of his time to caring for and rehabilitating chooks, ducks and geese abandoned by owners or battery farms. We met him at his sanctuary, a few kilometres outside of Canberra, a property known as a poultry place. I just got involved in campaigning for um, animal rights and um, one thing led to another. Eventually I met some people who had a similar operation um, and I came down to live with them for a couple of years and rather than go back to Sydney I decided to start up my own place because there's always animals who need a home. I didn't go into it half-heartedly. I, I kind of did a bit of research before and um, kind of knew all, all the pitfalls um, that were going to happen. I actually felt that I was contributing more um, living with them and, you know, um, cleaning up after them and, you know, helping them readjust and rehabilitate to life and um, I really enjoyed it. The majority of the animals, as, as the place um, is dedicated to um, poultry, majority are poultry, mostly um, chickens, um, rescue battery hens, um, some broilers, lots of roosters because um, yeah, people don't like keeping roosters. Um, there's lots of ducks and geese, and most of them have been dumped um, into like the nearest waterway when you know, people don't want them. Um, there's some turkeys here as well, and some sheep that are hand raised, and um, some goats. You want to eat out of the bucket, don't you? Some of them are in pretty bad shape um, because of the conditions they've been kept in. Okay, well, these are um, battery hens. They've only been out of their cages for about a week. They were. Um, left behind after their um, shed had been depopulated. Um, they would have become stock cubes, basically. You can see they've been in the cages for about a year. That's why they've lost lots of feathers. Um, their combs are a pinky colour because they're anemic, because they haven't been outside at all. So what we're doing now is we're rehabilitating them. Um, they'll get some more feathers and they'll colour up and then um, they'll go to um, new homes. Oh, that's a good oh. Like a dog or a cat, every animal is an individual, and, and some of them are, some of them become really friendly. Others um, kind of go back to kind of a bit, a bit of their wild side. Yeah, some of them are quite happy to be picked up and patted, and others kind of, you know, don't want to know about you. These guys were living on Quimbian River. They were basically unwanted pets, and so people just dump them onto a waterway, um, and then you know it becomes the council's problem. And the council um, had upset some people when they said they were going to move the geese, so they wanted to make sure they went to a good home. The broilers, when they come, because um, they're only only chicks basically, um, but they've got huge bodies because of the way they've been bred for the meat industry. Um, so they need they need lots of TLC, and yet the the reality is that they're not going to live for long because of of the conditions that they've been brought up in. While they're here, they try to get as much um, enjoyment as possible. You can see they're really loving the sun. Um, you know, their brothers and sisters would never have the sun, so um, they're really enjoying it. And um, I just try to make their lives as as nice as possible while they're here because they won't be with me for a very long time. People need to consider when they see the little fluffy chicks or the fluffy ducklings um, at markets or whatever and they decide to take them home, they do grow up to be bigger animals. It's a big job, but it, it was a commitment I, I knew um, and that's why I'm very um, careful about what animals I do have here. Um, I'm, I'm a morning person anyway, so I'm usually up between 5, 5.30 um, and once I have the morning cup of coffee, it's kind of, you know, getting on with, on with the jobs at hand. <laughs> Occasionally I do go away. I have some people who look after the place. Um, you know, I do have to travel a bit for work. But, um, you know, I, I mean, that's one of the sacrifices, again, that, you know, I was prepared to, you know, make, that, you know, the kind of trip to the Bahamas kind of is put on hold for a while. Yeah. <laughs>